Sagittarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your mid-month reading. We're going to tune right in. We're going to see what's going on with you, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's get three more shuffles. Let's see. What is the overall energy that the Sagittarians are dealing with when it comes to matters of love? Well, I mean, it's the important message of God is converted to those that need to hear it. What's going on with the Sagittarian collective? When it comes to matters of love and what remains for them in the month of September. Let's get two more shuffles and get an overall energy of what you are dealing with, Sagittarius. All right, let's tune in. The lovers here at the bottom of the deck. The four. Wow, look at that. Damn, what the. All right, we're going to see how this plays out. But let me just show you what I'm saying here. The lovers. Marriage. Four of, four of uh, wands. All right, we got the Queen of Cups. We got the Page of Cups. This is an offer coming forward here. All right. Same elemental energy. The Hierophant, marriage against success. The happiness. Sagittarius. What's going on here? <clears throat> Don't get too excited, buddy. That's the potential. All right. It seems that you are in hermit energy. You are stressed the hell out. Let me allow me to burst your bubble. But the reality of your situation is that you're losing sleep over a situation in which could have been exquisite at some point, but that's not the case. I feel that right now, hmm, you're dealing with a catastrophe in a situation that might have had extraordinary potential at some point. What's going on here with the Nine of Swords? What's going on with the Nine of Swords? All right, <clears throat> prepare yourself, buckle up, because I'm going to take you for an emotional roller coaster, ladies and gents. All right, let's go. What's going on here with the Nine of Swords? What's going on here with the Nine of Swords? <clears throat> the Emperor, or rather, okay, fire energy. We got, let's see, the Justice. So, ladies and gents, uh, I'm getting, wow, the Four of Wands. So, look, something ensued between you and somebody. This could have been a committal relationship. And I feel that, I feel it just led to some sort of catastrophe here. All right, could be dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with a Libra. However, there's a lot of stress here. Now, this doesn't have to be you. This could be the person you're dealing with, or this could be you. Take it as it resonates. Tell me more about this individual. So someone here has, or rather, is experiencing a major imbalance in a relationship, possibly in a marriage or some sort of commitment, and they're losing sleep over this. That's what I'm seeing here. That's just the message here that I'm getting. And they aren't really taking action towards it. And what's happening here is that them not being initiative towards this energy, towards the relationship, or towards turning this around is simply putting distance between you two. So this could be a situation in which someone's having a hard time walking away or moving on from something. All right? Having fucking nightmares or you name it. Going to sleep, thinking about you or you thinking about them. Take it as it resonates, all right? <clears throat> Nevertheless, let's see. What's going on here with the hermit energy? Why is the hermit here? So this is withdrawn. You know, somebody could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Virgo energy. So tell me more about this. Mm. The hermit, this is, again, somebody in isolation. I feel somebody is going through the dark night of the soul, flat out. That's the sort of energy that I'm getting here, Sagittarius. But you know what? This is actually needed. This hermit energy, this sense of isolation is needed. This person needs to go within themselves in order for them to get themselves out of a funk. So it seems. All right, tell me more. What's, where's this chariot going? The chariot is headed toward the transformation. So you are the creator of your own reality and understand that we go through trifling situations where we have to, again, go within ourselves to create the success that we want in our lives. All right, clearly the relationship that you were invested in was not aligned with whatever it is that you desire, was not aligned with your higher good. All right. Hmm. Even if you're the one that sabotaged this, clearly there's growth to be attained. Interesting. And that's what I see here. I see a lot of introspection, Sagittarius, a lot of isolation, a lot of introspection, the star card healing. Talk to me about the five of swords. Talk to me about the Five of Swords. Major defeats. So, all right. Somebody here is neglecting a situation. I feel that something here was absolutely sabotaged. There could have been deception here. 
somebody here was just acting in a certain way towards a relationship that just completely shattered and it just broke something. It broke something. It broke something, and it's like every both parties were left feeling defeated with what with, with with whatever happened here. Talk to me about the seven of swords, two of swords. Could have been indecision here. Someone here could have procrastinated when it came to making a choice regarding a relationship. Seven of cups, just confused. All right, just not grounded. They could have been having options here with the seven of cups. All right, nevertheless. Three of Swords. It could have been a third party situation. There could have been other people involved in this connection that led to this indecision of somebody, which ultimately led to a major defeat. Absolutely. And I feel that whomever it is that initiated this is actually realizing what has happened. All right. Somebody here is learning. Somebody here is learning. They're going through the dark night of the soul. They are having to introspect. They're having to reevaluate themselves. They're having to attain some sort of lessons, some sort of growth through their actions. This could be you. This could be the person you're dealing with. Let's see. What Sagittarius is energy towards whomever it is that they're connecting with? What Sagittarius is energy toward whomever it is that they are connecting with? Let's get two more shuffles. <clears throat> All right. The Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Wow. Sagittarius. What this is this is energy is just completely off the charts. What's going on here? It, you're appearing as someone that you seem to be independent. Nevertheless, you got a soulmate relationship here. I mean, this is a, a an undeniable chemistry here that you seem to be connected with. Alright? This energy feels really positive given what we just picked up so it is your person possibly that is feeling so tumultuous you what is sagittarius's energy towards this individual whomever it is that they are connected to the empress wants to fly out let's see tell me more so sag the king of swords all right libra energy here with the with this with the uh the justice Tell me more. What is Sagittarius's energy? The hangman. Sagittarius, I really feel as if you got a lot of feelings for somebody, but you are definitely choosing to be more logical when it comes to your feelings. So even though you got a lot of emotional investment towards somebody, you're choosing to think with your mind over your heart. But yet, this, this situation is like it's giving you a different perspective. And I feel like you're realizing something. What is it that Sagittarius is realizing here with the hangman? You're getting a different perspective, a different understanding here. The Six of Coins and the Six of Cups. That you're wanting to reconcile the conflict? Is that what you're realizing? So you may be single. You may be separated from somebody. What is the what is the energy between the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups? What is the energy between these two individuals? The High Priestess. So there isn't communication between you and this individual. You, I feel that you're realizing... I feel that you're realizing that you got a lot of love for someone that you are not in connection with. Or that you're not communicating with. All right. I feel that this is all happening as you are alone and you're finding a sense of contentment. So you could be going through a sense where you're finding peace with just being yourself. You're focusing on yourself. You're growing in an independent manner. And again, you're turned off emotionally, yet you're looking at things objectively and realizing that, you know what, this maybe does have potential or maybe I do want to come forward. I do want to reconcile. <clears throat> Tell me, give me some more clarification. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they are connecting with. Ten of Swords. Damn, this was an atrocious ending. This was a situation in which there was a lot of pain, tears, confusion. All right, Discord, the Tower, the Death. I mean, it doesn't get worse than this. I don't know what happened here, but. You went through something very, very challenging, and I feel that you walked away, and as you walk away from something that, you know, is really strong in your life, or rather, you know, just a strong connection, essentially, you are quite overwhelmed and overburdened, Sagittarius. <sighs> That's heavy. What's going on with the person that you're dealing with? Whomever it is that Sagittarius is dealing with, give me a sec. What's going on with Sagittarius's person? <clears throat> Whomever it is on the, it's on the other side of the oh, I'm fucking st I'm stuttering, ladies and gentlemen. I just pounded a coffee. Sure enough. 
my mind moves faster than my lips. <clears throat> Let's see. So it feels. So it seems. Tell me about this individual, whomever it is that Sagittarius is dealing with, and what is your energy towards Sagittarius? Let's get two more shuffles. Let's get one more shuffle and tune in to this individual's energy. All right, let's go. The Empress, wow. The Nine of Swords and the Strength. All right, buddy, let me tell you what I'm seeing here. Somebody here has a lot of feelings for you. This individual may, in fact, love you unconditionally here with the Queen of Cup, with the Queen of, or rather, the Empress. But mind you, in order to receive this unconditional love from the Empress, you got to give unconditional love to the Empress. All right, this Empress seems to be heavily stressed out, losing sleep, and trying to find their strength, be a woman or a man. This person is trying to find their strength in this situation. I do not feel like they are coming towards you. I feel that this individual is expecting for you to come towards them. Look, we got the Queen of Wands here. Whomever it is that you're dealing with is heavily disenchanted by what has happened. And they're going through a dark time, ladies and gents. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on their soul. Let's see what's going on with the Empress energy. Let's look into this Empress energy. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Going through a dark time. This individual is feeling the ending that has happened between you and them. Nine of Wands, but they're picking themselves up. They got this warrior sort of energy that they're just picking up the broken pieces and moving along. All right, trying to heal from the situation. Queen of Wands could be another fire sign that you're dealing with. It's not the first time I say that. It could be a Leo here with the set with the strength card. Knight of Wands at the end of, at the bottom of the deck. Nevertheless, we got more Leo energy. Look, somebody's got someone has got love for you. I'm gonna tell you that they got love for you, Sagittarius. All right, but. They're going through it. They're going through it. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. They're going through it. That's that's it. I'm not seeing action towards you. Uh, that's not to say that. I mean, I I just don't feel as if there's gonna be action towards you. But let's see. Let's see how this plays out. What's going on here with the nine of swords? What's going on here with the nine of swords? Why is the nine of swords here? Seven of coins. Because there's an element of stagnancy. The the situation, the relationship, or them. They aren't moving. They're not feeling a sense of progress. They feel stuck. They feel stuck, Sagittarius, and this stuckness is its getting to them. It's getting to them. I feel like they don't trust you, Sagittarius. All right? This Empress sees you as the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Three of Cups. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more about this individual's mind here the wheel of fortune they're giving this they're giving this time they're a lot they're giving this they're putting this in the in the hands of god put it like that they're just like all right this shit is crazy all right this this is just too much i'm not gonna take action i want a new beginning but it's out of my hands that's what this individual feels like it's like it's out of their hands that's how they feel that's how they feel it's like it's out of their hands so what's going on here with the strength why is the strength here why is this individual, whomever it is that Sagittarius is connecting with, why is this strength here? The moon. Yeah, this individual is going through a dark time, ladies and gents. Going through a dark time. Can't see clearly. They don't see clearly. They're just discombobulated when it comes to this relationship. Let me see what I got here. The magician, the hermit. Interesting. All right. Well, I feel that this individual... This is not over, I'll tell you that. For whatever reason, they see connection taking place here. But they're having a hard time formulating how this would even ensue. Alright? It's like deep within their subconscious, they're manifesting engagement between you two. Some sort of emotional exchange here. Look at this is absolute, you know, could be a past life connection, could be a soulmate, could be just a... A relationship with a massive sense of history, but this is exactly what I see them manifesting, ladies and gents. But mind you, this manifestation, mind you, this is all mental process, right? Ruled by Mercury. This is simply the mind. It's shrouded by a lot of obscurity, by a lot of confusion, by ignorance, by a lack of foresight. Now, I don't mean ignorance as in them being an idiot, but ignorance in the sense that they cannot see, they don't know, they just, they can't formulate. 
That's crazy. Anyways, so Sagittarius, I don't know what to tell you guys. This is a tough situation. I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to continue to looking uh, deep into whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to look into this individual's feelings towards you. I'm going to look into this individual's mind and pull energy in regards to the future vision that they see with you. They obviously see a future vision. That's what I saw. That's what I picked up in their subconscious mind. All right, so I'm going to look into this individual's actions towards you in the remainder of this month. I'm going to be looking into the outcome. Look what just flew out, the Knight of Cups. I'm going to look at the outcome. Where, when, what is this relationship going to end like at the end of this month? All right, if you're interested, the link to this will be in the description. Otherwise, Sag, it's a pleasure, and I'll see you guys next time.